I ain't really, nah, come on now. All right, check who? It's a check chart data. They tweeted about Le Bebe. What's going on with Le Bebe, man? Chart data tweeted about him. What do you do? You made some history or some shit? Um. Damn, SZA finna do 175 in her second week? Okay, SZA. I think SZA outsold Beyonce. Taylor Swift still doing over 130? Metro's third week is going to come in at 79K. Okay, okay. Drake 21 Savage still doing um, some good amount. I told you that album by, by Lil Baby was weak, man. That shit fell out the top 10, man. Weak as hell. Weak. <clears throat> what the fuck did they tweet about Lil Baby, though? Top 10 artists of these people right here. Okay, okay. Nigga, what the tweet is? Yeah, what are y'all talking about right now? Wait, wait for you is not on the uh, on the on the Hot 100. That mean all them scissors song probably kicking shit out, kicking shit out of them spots. Yeah, all them scissors songs just look new, 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 new. Yeah. Okay, a boogie made it. Doja Cat didn't chart this week on the Hot 100, first time in two years. Damn, Taylor Swift. It's really Taylor Swift, SZA, and motherfucking Drake and 21 putting beats <coughs> on the rest of these motherfuckers. Hmm. I passed it. Let me just search it. Oh, he's not present on the charts <clears throat> for the first time this decade. Holy shit. Ending 176 weeks of charting. I told you, man. That nigga dropped a weak ass album. Oh, Acura Hayden. I'm not hating my nigga. Not one other fucking song stuck. His album dropped like two months ago, my nigga. His album dropped two months ago. If he had one smash on it, it'd be on the charts. Not granted, I'm still not shaming him. Like, I don't think you can shame him for that because, bro, like, the nigga's been on the charts every week for 176 weeks. whoop de doo he's not on it this week. Okay, all right. I think it just kind of comes back to the same the same thing I've been saying. Like, you know, Buddy just got to make a uh, uh, um, um, stop being in the studio making songs like Hey, Hey, Hey with a bunch of niggas like, this is fire. That shit was trash. Listen, man, go back to teasing music. Like, he's a great musician. Like, personal shit aside, he's a great musician. Go back to making some real hot shit. Like, you know, tease it. Let the fans kind of tell you what's popping. Switch up the flow a little bit. Like, stop trying to make woe. Stop trying to make that type of stuff. And, um, like, also, you have another bag you could get into. I know, you know, he's not that smart. We know it's short bus, baby. He don't want to talk about, like, social issues. But Bigger Picture was one of those. That's how you're going to get to the Grammys, and that's how you elevate. You know what I mean? It's the reason why 21 Savage ain't in the conversation with a lot of niggas. Once he started making songs that w were more than just a gangster rap or talking about the clubs and killing niggas, and he showed a little bit conscious out of him, put him in a new category. Lil Baby got scared of it because he thought people were putting pressure on him. You know what I mean? He barely know how to read. You know how that go. So I think you should lean back in that bag a little bit, man. Because right now, I kid you not, like I still play. I play I'm playing as Lucy's. So I'm playing On Me and all these other songs that was dropped in between my turn and, and this new project. Um, you know, shit, if, if I'm a little baby, like, I, like in the next six weeks, I'll drop a single. Bro, the album wasn't it, my nigga. Just, just drop a single, keep it going. The single's going to do great. Hopefully, you can catch a new spark, a new wave with it, and build up again. You know what I mean? But he's still one of the top artists in the world. Like, he's still, like... Bro, to me, bro, he's still the top three artists in the world. It's just that niggas thought that he was going to be, like, so far out there that the only possible comparison you could make to him was Drake. Um, I don't think that's the case. You get what I mean? 
shit, I think Future outsold him. You know what I mean? And obviously, overall, career-wise, he ain't past Future. But if I had told you in the last year whose album you think would perform better Future, like before it drops, before it drops, right? Future or Baby, I think you'd probably say Baby because you just thought he was just so popping. You know what I mean? It'd be fine. Somebody says, um, number three. Uh, oh, why I said he's a top three artist? Um, well, who do y'all think is a top artist right now? Oh, you don't think Baby's top three? Definitely top five. Drake. Um, Drake. Kendrick. Drake, Kendrick, Future. And who else? Nah, I'm not putting Dirk or YB over, over, over Baby, bro. I'm, I'm like, nah. Mm -mm. They're not bigger artists than Baby. Mm -mm. YB's not a bigger artist than Baby. YB got a more dedicated fan base than Baby, though. Bro, Lil Baby has been picked by the machine. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the reason why he's bigger than Youngboy. Lil Baby has been picked by the machine. Like, they're putting everything behind him. He's dumb enough not to say anything that could get him in trouble. Actually, you know what's funny? And that's why I always say, like, when rappers think they're, like, going back and forth with me, they always end up look stupid. Because there's nothing people would ever say negative about Baby. Or there's nothing that's, like, a negative tagline about him. Maybe you could talk about some, like, shady room shit, but who cares? Now when you get into it with me, I'm going to find some shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Like that whole shit with him with the drop the address shit, look corny. Now you now you're making the blogs for shit that you shouldn't want to make the blogs for. So you know, um, I specialize in that, and I guarantee his ass won't even read another one of my messages as he should. I told him he better never diss me another album. I'm giving him a tutorial of of why I don't give a fuck if you're the if you're the best rapper or anybody. Keep my name out your fucking mouth when it comes to your album, unless you want me to keep mentioning you on my live stream and. I will keep doing it for a very long time. All right. Um, no, no, uh, no. But he's still top five, bro. He's still top five. Bro, he's still top five. Again, if if this album didn't drop yet, and if this album wasn't so fucking mid, we would have said it's Lil Baby than Drake. I promise you I would have said that. Y'all would have probably even gave him the edge over, over Kendrick, my nigga. Bro, the dude had the streets and had the mainstream world in a chokehold. I know I know he dropped a medium rare album. It shit was just I right, my nigga. And because of that, we're kind of like trying to have some revision history or uh, revisionist history. But in reality, bro, I was comparing his run up to him releasing this mid to Wayne. I said that. I said he has the opportunity that if he knocks this out the fucking park, if he knocks this out the fucking park, we would have seen Lil Baby um, be compared. I think the him and Drake conversation would be much different. If he had knocked it out the park, and let's say her loss wasn't her loss, or let's say Drake didn't drop her loss. Remember, people were like, uh, honestly, never mind. It was like a neck scratcher. If Lil Baby went crazy and dropped like the one of the best albums this year type shit, people would be looking at Drake and be like, nah, he's going down, Baby going up. But Drake, smart as a motherfucker, linked up with 21, right? Dropped a super banger, and then Baby didn't perform. Trust me, this was one of the closest times. This was one of the closest times I thought someone had a chance of jumping in the conversation of being near Drake. If Baby had knocked it out the park and her loss didn't come, or her loss was just kind of whack, People would say, nah, Baby really got the streets. Drake had to go out his way to get um, 21, and they still didn't deliver. Baby's running the mainstream and the streets. 
You get what I mean? But it just didn't happen. And I keep telling you, this is the second time Baby Baby fumbled when he could have went to another level. He had another opportunity to. Um, it's a time when he dropped when he dropped um. He dropped the same day as Meek when Meek dropped like championships or was it championships? Like I think so. It's like 2018 ish. Baby just dropped the mid album after he dropped. He was killing every verse. Baby was on a yo. He killed every verse that year. It reminded me of when Wayne used to just get on remixes or even Drake. You know what we were like the Drake stimulus package. Okay, let's just keep it at Drake. Baby was hopping on everybody's verse and nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Like think about it. Like we just knew songs for Baby's verse, line for line, nigga. So I don't know. All right. Anyway, uh, let's keep it moving. Le bebe. I don't think this is a bad thing. You, you'll bounce back. Um, my only thing, and I'll wrap it up by saying this. I don't know if Lil Baby will have another opportunity to be in the anticipation space that he was right before he dropped this album. Like, you you have to work. It takes like a two to three year buildup, right? Remember, this all started with my turn. Then the deluxe. Then bigger picture. That was, I think, on the deluxe. And all these songs that kept coming. Bang, 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 bang. He's on people. Every time you hear him on a song, he's going crazy. Him and Dirk go crazy on an album. He goes crazy on DJ Khaled's album. Goes on a fucking tour. The streets went on a tour, arena tour. Did that. Bro, at this point, all he needs is like a lollipop and then like an Amelie. He needs a lollipop, super low, white girls going to learn for TikTok. And maybe that's why he was making that hey, hey, hey bullshit. But that nigga, that's only an LGBTQ uh, anthem. Ain't nobody, nobody dancing that shit on TikTok. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Get out of here. Um, that's all he needed. He needed a song like Lollipop and a song like Amelie. Something that the streets like was like, oh shit, this is the one. And something that the mainstream would just want to eat up and be like, oh, crown you moment, right? And he just didn't have that. He had that, I'm sorry. So now he's been knocked back down. If you ask me, I'm, I'm going to give him the sauce for free because, you know, I be telling him, I, do, I, I still fuck with his music. Bro, by February, you should drop a few songs. You could keep a single bass as long as you know these singles are fire. But you could, I wouldn't say don't do a deluxe. The album ain't hot enough to do a deluxe. If you do a deluxe, it's like refreshing some mid. You feel me? Like you can't refresh the mid. You refresh the heat, not the mid. So what he should do is, if I'm him, I drop a little six track, whatever, whatever, and kill it, nigga. It got to be the hottest six tracks he got in his computer and just act like they throwaways. You feel me? You got to get back to anticipation and heat. Once you do that, you wait a couple months, you know, he should be going on a tour soon. Now you get to perform those new hot songs on tour because nobody don't know no songs from the album, bro. So you perform these new songs and you keep dropping more singles. Let's build it back up. Hop on every hot song. Niggas is always calling Baby for features. Just pick and choose. Do what Drake do. <laughs> if, it, if your song ain't going to make it, Drake ain't giving you a feature. Fuck that. Get back on the stimulus package shit and it's going to take like a year, year and a half, maybe two. Maybe you'll be back in the same, same position, but I'm telling you, it's so hard. These moments in time, like if Drake, I don't think Drake will be Drake. Remember that moment where, right when we were saying the Drake stimulus package, where like Drake literally, he did about 20 to 30 features, and I swear, these were the best verses you could imagine being on there, bro. Like the best fucking verse. Stay scheming. We were just like, we, as soon as you play it, you would cut everybody else out the, the song and go straight to Drake shit. I'm all one. Straight to Drake shit. You feel me? So I think he just need to go on that run again. And then if, if he does, I think people will fuck with him. Or not, not people will fuck with him. I'm again, I'm 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 not hating for people who, who's trying to look. I'm trying to compare him to can he be the number one rapper? Or could he ever challenge Drake? Drake going on 36, 37, and he's still shitting all these niggas. Anyway, and by the way, I'll even throw this into the air. 21 just 
fucking came off this this tape with Drake. If I'm 21, I drop a tape in the next seven months type shit. Of course, this shit going through a run, so don't drop yet. But I drop a tape or something like that, I call it a mixtape. And if that shit fire on its own, it's changing the narrative. You're, uh, some of the narrative already is like, yo, damn, 21 went crazy on this album. Now you drop your own shit? The only thing is that I don't think 21 could really compete with, with, with Baby. Baby dropped like, he dropped like a Mexican, bro. He dropped like a crackhead, bro. <laughs> it's like every 20 seconds, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got 21 Savage, he dropped infrequently. Anyway. All right. But right now, in Atlanta, they got to pass Future. Because Future's found the right cadence. Let's go to Lawyer for Workers. We're off for